this video, I wanted to show you how I use DALI 3 and also how it compares to Mid Journey. My name is Joanne and I'm an interior designer and interior design business coach with a special interest in technology. And at the moment, I'm a bit obsessed with AI. A few days ago, I uploaded a video showing you how I use Mid Journey for interior design visualization. Now, if you've watched that video, you will actually understand the prompts and so on. If you haven't watched it, I'll leave a link in the description and you can watch it a little bit later. So now it seems like if you go on to Bing, you will have access to the new DALI 3 visualization tool. So in this video, I wanted to show you how I use DALI 3 and also how it compares to Mid Journey. So let's hop into the screen share. So if you watched the previous video, you will have seen this Notion template. So what I've actually done is I've got a prompt dashboard where I can actually generate prompts by choosing these tokens and just quickly explore. So what I thought I would do is have a look at what I've actually previously generated in Mid Journey and then compare it to uh, what is going to be generated in DALI 3. If you have a look at, for example, this prompt, it's a contemporary kitchen which is inspired by Ilsa Crawford. Now, Bing actually say that they're not going to use his name and so on, and I guess this is to, to protect their copyright, but I thought it would be interesting to see if you actually get results like this. So you can see here we've got editorial composition. So we've got a wide angle kitchen and then we've got modern country. So that looks limestone and it's included limestone. It's got a limestone floor and stone walls. And I've said inspired by Ilsa Crawford, natural tones, and I've got natural lighting and I don't want any people in it. So let's just hop over into Dell E3 and see what it can generate. And you can then choose this image creator. And you can see you get a certain amount of tokens and these tokens will limit you to how many images you can produce but it means that if you do run out you'll get you'll still be able to generate images it'll just be a lot slower so here you can see on the, the page you have a lot few examples of the kinds of images you can create so this is quite interesting serene vacation lake house watercolor painting so you can see there are different kinds of medium that you can have, you've got oil painting here, you've got pop art here, you've got a tent. So these are realistic. I think in terms of when I look at these results, I don't see as much realism as I do in mid journey, but I think it's nice to actually experiment. So remember that we're using AI for our ideation process. Uh, we're not going to be copying the images or presenting them to clients and saying that there were things that we would design. We're just looking at the kinds of ideas that Mid Journey comes up with using the prompts that we are putting together. So you can see here, I've got this prompt and I'm just going to paste it in here. And at the moment I've been testing and it ha doesn't really care about the aspect ratio. All the results seem to be in a square format. So let's just hit create and see what we get. Now, again, I haven't put in a prompt yet that has a person's name in it. So we'll just see what it comes up with. Ah. So you can see, actually, these are really nice results. So let's have a look here. So this is actually quite beautiful and I actually quite like it. 
in comparison to the results that I got from Mid Journey. I like the more contemporary feel. So let's just download that. Let's have a look at the next one. And you can see here, it hasn't really cared about the aspect ratio, but it's 1024 by 1024, so square images. So let's have a look at this one. Again, a very nice result. I think these are quite realistic and nice styling. A little bit too many lights here, I think. But in terms of its realism, I'm not sure why you'd have taps there. But this is something you could actually fix in Photoshop if you would like to. So let's have a look at this one. Again, a very nice rendering. I actually quite, th there's something a bit odd going on here with the chairs, but ultimately it's quite a nice image. So let's just save that. And finally, we have this image here. And again, a very nice rendering, nice light. Remember, I've got natural lighting. We've got a modern country, and I think it actually, and it, it actually has taken this idea of it being quite contemporary. They're much more contemporary than these results that you can see here with Mid Journey. I think it's actually a very nice result. It looks like when you go into Bing, you will you are actually using the Dali -E because we tried these or I did try these prompts before and I got really ordinary results. And you can see here, I actually put in a prompt that had a pen and ink drawing and I said this was going to be a coastal scene with a bathroom and a bathtub and it's going to have some elements of timber and it's going to be bright and it's by the beach. And I think it's actually interpreted this quite well. And I like the renderings of the pen and ink. So again, try and experiment and have fun with it. So if you would like a copy of this template for descriptors and for your experimentation, I'll leave a link in the comments and have fun. See you in the next video.